What's up, y'all? Hey, how y'all feel about the draft? Hey, look. Round two tonight. Round two and three tonight, but... Off that first round... Let me say, um... When the season ended... And all the command, it was, it was a whole bunch of commander fans talking about we're going to get a, a left tackle with the first pick and all that. Like, <laughs> where y'all at, man? Where y'all at, man? Like like I was telling y'all, man, like, you, you don't build a team behind a left tackle, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you definitely uh, build your team behind that line for sure, but. The quarterback is the most important piece. And always remember, right? If you need a quarterback and a left tackle, understand that you don't need the left tackle to be the best player in the league. You don't need your left tackle to be the best player on your team. You don't need the best left tackle, man. You don't need a great left tackle to succeed. You need a good left tackle. A good left tackle will get you through. Somebody that go to Pro Bowls here and there, he probably don't, he don't got to make the Pro Bowl every single year. You know what I'm saying? But he got the talent too. But if you got a choice of having the best left tackle to ever play the game and you get a good quarterback with that best left tackle to ever play the game. Would you rather have that or would you rather have the best quarterback to ever play the game with a good left tackle? He comes with a good left tackle. Would you want a great left tackle all time with a good quarterback or would you rather have a great all time quarterback and a good left tackle? You know what I'm saying? You don't need Trent Williams to win a Super Bowl because Trent Williams has been great and has been one of the best, best tack left tackles in the NFL ever since he's been in the NFL. And I'm pretty sure there's been some seasons where he was ranked the best left tackle in the league. And he's never won no Super Bowl. But Patrick Mahomes is the best quarterback, and he's constantly winning Super Bowls. Tom Brady, constantly winning Super Bowls. You know, Joe Montana, Super Bowls, Brett Favre, John Elway, like all the great quarterbacks winning Super Bowls. You know what I'm saying? And I'm pretty sure some great left tackles won too, but come on, man. You need that QB, man. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm going to say in the second round, then we can go get our left tackle. And then, man, I, I just want us to get a receiver, man. You know, if Johan Dawson step up and he become that guy, you know what I'm saying? He could be like a 1B to Terry McLaurin's 1A, or he could be the 1A and Terry 1B. If, if that happens, then, yeah, we probably won't need a receiver. But off of how they played last year, even though, you know, everything was messed up, but off of how he played last year, we need a receiver, man. And if we can give up a second round pick, or if we can give up our first round pick next year for Brandon Ayuk, man, do that shit, dog. Like Brandon Ayuk like that, man. He better than Terry McClellan. So if we had Brandon Ayuk, we got Brandon Ayuk and Terry McClellan, that would make our receiving core like that. You know what I'm saying? And we got Zach Ertz. You know what I'm saying? We got Austin Eckler going to be catching that John out the backfield. Brian Robinson showed last year he can catch it out the backfield. You know what I'm saying? And then Johan Dawson, you know, it's not, it won't be a lot of pressure on him. And once he see them other people shining, he probably going to step up, you know? But yeah, man. Hey, what, what's, what's, up? what's up with the Falcons? Any Atlanta Falcon fans on here? Hey, though, hey. Them drafting a quarterback made zero sense to me. You know what I'm saying? You got the number eight pick overall, and you draft a quarterback, but you, you just gave Kirk Cousins a four-year contract with $100 million guaranteed dollars 
with $50 million in incentives off a of high he plays. So he can get about $150 million for the next four years. You spent a draft pick on a player that you're not even planning on plan on uh, playing for four years. After four years, I'm pretty sure he'll be a free agent. He probably won't even want to be on the team. Or he'll probably be off the team before that. Why would you spend your number eight pick on a quarterback when you just gave Kirk Cousins a $150 million four-year contract? That's how you fuck franchises up, man. That, that That's some shit... I don't even know if Daniel Snyder would have did no shit like that. I, I just don't understand the move because, okay, if you feel as though Kirk Cousins, he's not going to bounce back from his injury, why the fuck would you give him so much money? You know what I'm saying? And if Kirk Cousins do bounce back and he's the same player that he's been, you just wasted a draft pick. But I guess they used use that draft pick for... You know, if Kirk Cousins come out balling out, they could probably trade him in the future or something. I don't know, man. That shit just makes zero sense. There's other shit they could have did to help their team out. Getting getting the quarterback with the eight pick when you got Kirk Cousins, that shit don't help your team out. Because both of them are not going to be up on the field at the same time. What sense do that make, y'all? That shit was... I don't know. But all right, y'all. Yeah, man. We got that QB, man. Jake, Jaden Daniels. Are people mad? Where the people that's mad that they didn't get Drake May? Are people mad about that? Are people talking shit about uh, Jay and Daniels? Like, though, we got to get a quarterback, though. We got to get a QB, man. And hopefully he can be everything that he was last year at LSU. You know, and if he, I mean, he showed you what he could do with good receivers because he was like that last year. So, hey, if Terry, if he that guy, Johan that guy, and we end up getting somebody else, Zach Gertz, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, man, I don't see why Jay and Daniels wouldn't be successful, man. You know what I'm saying? We're going to have better culture, a better line. I'm pretty sure they about to get a left tackle in the second round. Uh... We already got a better center. I mean, our line, all we missing is the left tackle right now. But outside of that, our line is better than what it was last year. So once we plug in that left tackle, then the line is just on paper is better than what it was last year. Uh, our running backs, our Eckler is better than uh, the dude they sent to New England. I don't Gibson. Eckler is better than Gibson. Ertz. Even at the, at a later age, I think he in his 30s, is way better than Logan Thomas. Uh, hopefully, Jaden Daniels is better than Sam Howell. You know what I'm saying? The offensive line better. Hey, Forbes. Forbes about to step up. I think Forbes, going, he going to show us why he was drafted in the first round last year. Now, in a better system, he going to be able to attack that ball. That's what he a ball hawk. You don't just forget how to get the ball when you get to the NFL, dog. And he was playing better at the end of the season last year. So, I'm going to jump out there. I'm going to say Forbes gets seven NOs this year. Just like that. As long as he healthy. As long as he don't get hurt. If Forbes healthy, seven NOs. But, all right, y'all.